Hi, this is on protocol finding. See, actually, I got a request from the client to the server. Okay, so the request can be a HTTP protocol based request. The reason is like in internet, we'll be using HTTP hypertext transfer protocol. But still, instead of theoretically explaining the stuff, let me go back practically. We are going to find what kind of request this web service is accepting. What can I do? I send a request, the response is coming. Grab the response, find out like what is the protocol used, one. What is the protocol version used, two. And whether the protocol status is good or not, three. And what is the minor version and what is the major version. So these areas, I'm going to make it out and find it for a web server. So let's start our coding part. This is the second module of this particular project. Maybe a third module because we got the login form. So this is the third module we are going to work it out. Let's start it. Find protocol used for HTTP requests. Okay, so in this module, I'm going to show you like uh, how, what is the protocols and uh, how it's implemented. So usually you got a client server network over there. A client is the guy who is asking something and server is the guy who is processing something. And this is happening in the network. So obviously, like a browser will be requesting. So a HTTP request will go to the server. And this guy will respond. So this is called as HTTP response. You got a HTTP request and a HTTP response. So the browser will be requesting. So get request will go. And it will search for the files in the web server. And it will try to read that file. The servant responses and the pages is displayed. This is how your HTTP request and HTTP response will be. And uh, this is a kind of uh, the process followed in accessing the websites. Now, I'm trying to show you or I'm trying to extract what is the protocol implemented over here through which the data is transferred. Okay, so I'm going to find out the protocol. So via the HTTP request and uh, the response. Let's start writing the code. So what can I do is like um, first thing, right click properties, I'll make it a start position center screen, and uh, uh, let's have uh, a background image. I'll try to have my background images. Images, I'll have, uh, let's have this one. Mm, we'll have some clear picture. So background image, I'll try to grab. Uh, maybe this one. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, I got an image. Looks good. So let's find the protocol. So I'll have my Xbox One. Copy paste. I got my Xbox Two. Copy paste. I got my Xbox Three. And I'll try to have another Xbox Four in the bottom. Okay, I got four text boxes. Now uh, I'll go to the previous project. I'll take this labels. So I'll paste it here. I got the labels here. So I'll keep this one. So find the protocols. So networking protocols for the web server now so i need to find the protocol version so minor version and uh, okay. 
So here is the protocol major version. So place it here. Right click properties of protocol major version. Okay, so I got it. Now uh, I'll copy this one, paste it here. So over here, I'm trying to find the protocol, type of protocol. So type of protocol used and uh, over here the status code I'm trying to get the status code now so what is the status code so whether the protocol server is the up or now so I'll have uh, whether the server is up or not and whether it will respond for the request okay so this is the one looks good okay so this is the one i'm going to focus uh, let me take the button from here right click copy from the previous screen i paste it here um four color so the color uh, it's not suiting no let's have this one okay for time being so it's up to you to decide what color you want let me write the piece of code so on the button click so I need to change the text get uh, protocol details okay looks good so double click it and start the code you are a so my uri is equal to new uri of uh, i should give the website name so the website name is uh i got the website name right so the website name is this one So this is the URA uniform resource indicator and uh, now I'll try to create a HTTP web request uh, for the specific URL. So HTTP web I should add uh, using system system dot net HTTP web request my request is equal to http web request of web request dot create of my uri i got my web request ready now my request dot protocol version is equal to http version dot version one zero so now i'm going to send a request and i'm looking for the response so HTTP web response my response is equal to HTTP web response my request dot get response. So, considering I got the response back, if my response dot protocol version not equal to HTTP 
version dots version 10 so i sent a request but i'm getting a response a different response in that case in that case uh, get me the thing so the text box one dot text so is equal to my response dot protocol version dot to string so here right types of protocol is text box 3 so text box 3 should have this one text box 1 will provide you the minor version dot minor text box 2 got the major version major version so let me check it out whether uh, i'm able to get this one before that i need to connect my form so admin login form submit it goes to the next form hit ip address i need an another button go to protocol fetch page so this is my protocol fetch page okay click it find protocol so this is the file name I'll go here click it paste it here find protocol so i create an object for this so find protocol dot show this dot hide that's it so it looks good now i built it i started the project i give it as admin so login successful so this is the page to move to this page once if i click this button to go to this page yes i'm going to click this one to see the code so the code what i written is like uh, i sent a request i got the response and uh, i'm trying to fill text box 1 or oh, it's 2 so text box 2 so i'm trying to fill 1 2 3 3 so i'm trying to fill the text boxes with the minor major and the actual version actual protocol click it looks there is a problem invalid url the format of url could not be found maybe let me try with this one http let me check it out that's that's good so we got uh, the protocol major version minor version is 1 and 1 and here is the protocol that's 1.1 so what i'm trying to do is like uh, i'll create an append a small http over here so i'll make it out like um, then we have like this so uh, http your space and add it let's see so build it and run it so admin admin submit click here click here looks good so it's a http with 1.1 as a version of protocol used in the particular web server so this is the one thing like uh, the status is okay it's coming positive but still i'm trying to get that information what is the status code so what is the status code so if my response 
dot the status code is equal to http status code dot ok so got a lot of options here http status course so if it is ok in that case you put in the text box 4 dot text as response sent sent using version http so i have it in the text box uh, uh, 3 dot text Okay, so what is the status? So, add successfully received response with the version of HTTP text box 3.txt. That's it. Good. So now I'll uh, close the response by writing a small piece of code. My response dot. Uh, oh, sorry. My response dot close. That's it. So build it. Run it. Admin submit. I got this one. Go here. Fetch it. Response sent using version HTTP 1.1 successfully received response with a version of HTTP 1.1. That's look good. So this is the end of uh, this particular module protocol module. So what I'm trying to do is like um, I'm trying to fetch uh, the protocol version which is sent as a request and the response which I received. So this is the final one. Like I need to change the form border style as none. Start the project, right click properties, uh, form bottle style is none. Okay, let's move on to the next uh, module, which is really important. Uh, I'm going to show you. So, let's see the previous one. So, I'm trying to do some lipsy sniffing to fetch uh, the response which I received from the server. So, this is the next module I'm trying to do it. So, that's website sniffing. So, so I go to my page and uh, let's have the another page. Click it, right click, add Windows form. So here is the website sniffing. So this is the one I'm going to talk in my next module. Thank you.